upbeat music can help you say what you're feeling. Try this. What's going on boys? Yes, it's finally here. It's Thursday. It is update time. We've got the Bumblebee update. We're going to go over everything right now. Buy some new skins. Check out all the new update details. So, hit the subscribe button. Whack a thumbs up on the video. And let's get into it. Yeah, boy! <laughs> Here we go boys, the new Bumblebee a Battlefield update is ready. Bumblebee is ready to blast into action near Aurora Valley with an all-you vehicle system. In this new mode, explorers form teams of two and fight the entire battle in vehicles. One team will take on the role of Bumblebee, storming around a battlefield like a mean transforming machine. So it sounds like it's sort of similar to the Thanos event in Fortnite if any of you have played that. So let's just get straight into it, check it out, see what it's all about. Bumblebee armor. That looks dope. I can imagine a lot of you guys are going to be buying that. Should we uh, should we check how much it is? Bumblebee Battlefield. Let's have a look. Blah, blah, blah. Bumblebee Showdown. The be, be the long-lasting superhero from March 28th until April 11th. So it only looks like it is a timed game mode, guys. So it's only available until the 11th of April. So we've got just over two weeks just uh, to actually try it out. But woo! Now check out the background, boys. Oh my gosh. Check out check out the Bumblebee background. I like that. I like that. What do you guys think of that? Let me know in the comments. They finally changed the lobby screen. Because the, the lobby screen has been the same lobby since the beta of, um, of Creative Destruction. So that looks dope. Okay. So here we go, boys. Bumblebee armor. So, it looks like here you can buy all of them separately. Can you buy them together? I'm really not sure. Uh, so, yeah, guys, you can buy the packs to gain them normally. So, you can get a, a Bumblebee paint job pack, which I'm guessing is for the uh, the vehicle in a limited time mode, which is a bit weird, unless there's actually cars. I mean, they must be adding cars into the main game if they're doing a sort of skin. Um... If they're doing a skin for uh, for the car, because obviously the limited time game mode is only available to the April until uh, April 11th, so they must be doing um, they must just be doing the um, the paint job. Once the vehicle feature is online, you can use this item to obtain Bumblebee car form. Draw. Okay, we just got a Bumblebee mask. We got a Bumblebee stinger. These are only for limited times, guys, so don't get drawn into that, okay? If you want to buy them properly, you'll have to buy them from the actual pack. So, as you can see right there, can you buy the whole thing? So, yeah, guys, it looks like you can buy the Bumblebee Flex Bundle for 4,699 diamonds. Wow. So, overall, that's... Roughly $60. $50 to $60 for the whole Bumblebee skin suit. Let me know in the comments what you think about that and if you're actually going to purchase it. I'm probably not going to purchase it. I like my skin I've got at the moment. And I'm going to grind for the uh, for the skin that's at the, the end of the pack. The new orange robot skin. So, I mean, now I've already got the battle pass. There's a load of skins in the battle pass already. I mean, the Bumblebee skin doesn't look great. I definitely prefer this one as my favourite skin. So, yeah, we're not going to be buying that. But, uh, yeah, I can't see any more updates on the lobby apart from that. So, I guess we'll just get straight into the uh, the Bumblebee Battlefield mode. That needs an update. So, let's check it out. Right, so here we go, guys. I'm using a ooh, Samsung Galaxy Tab S4. Uh, to play this on mobile so let's check this out only one team will become bumblebee while the others will use the dune buggy in each team one player occupies the driver's seat while the other players assume the firing spot 
Players in a driver's seat are in charge of driving, searching for resources, using items and vehicle skills. Um, players in the firing spot must pick up weapons to attack the opponents. Collect materials to upgrade the vehicle and collect energy, energy shards to use vehicle skills. Bumblebee's location is displayed on the indicator. Destroy Bumblebee and pick up the Bumblebee energy shards to become the new Bumblebee. Let's check this out boys. Let's go. Okay, we're going straight into it. This is a mobile version, so... It'll take me a bit of time to get used to. Now, this is similar to the Rules of Survival car mode that they that they made on ROS. Um, if you guys remember that as well, it was a kind of vehicle car mode where you're only allowed in vehicles. I think they did it on... Um, I think they did it on H1Z1 as well. Uh, okay, what what's going on here? Right, so I'm driving around in a quad bike. There's someone on the back of my quad bike as well. Um, I'm going to get him to grab a weapon, I think. There you go. Grab up those weapons, buddy. Oh my god, this is awesome! It's so hard to drive, though. It is so hard to drive. Alright, so I'm going to drive around. Let's go find this, uh... Let's go find Bumblebee, baby! <laughs> Where you at, boy? Where you at? Expert driver, let's go! Skirt, skirt! Up the wall! Skirt, skirt! You can drive in water, but you drive really slowly. Grab the med kits, buddy. What's this? Oh shit! You get certain things as well. Yo, that's awesome. You get you get boosts as well. Oh shit! There's Bumblebee here. Wait, am I against other enemies as well? Come here, boy. Give me that booty, baby. Oh shit! Oh, shit, boy. This can get some gas. So it looks like, guys, you get power-ups at the bottom. You've got to collect these purple um, purple cubes. And then they basically give you... Um, uh, they give you boost. So you can get a speed boost. You can also have a shield as well. Let me just use that. Yeah, you can put a bubble shield out, which protects you for a certain amount of time. Well, oh, I just saw a shard there. Let's go up and get it. Blow him up. Blow him up. Blow him up! Someone just blew me up! Yo, he's right there! Get away, boys! Get away! Skirt, skirt! Oh, shit. Blow him up! Oh, no! He's alive! How much health does he have left? Blow him up! Is he dead? Oh, he's alive! Let me get his thing! Oh, we're Bumblebee, baby! Let's go! Pick up energy to fill your bar once it's full. Tap the button on the right-hand side. Alright, let's go get some energy shards, boy. Come here then, boy! Come here then, baby! Oh, get wrecked! They're almost dead! Oh, there's two taken out! Where's the rest of them? Oh my god, this is so good! Whoa! You can proper jump as well. Let's go! Oh my god, this is literally epic. Oh no, we need some more shards. App. It's so hard to drive on mobile. It is so hard to drive. We got some people here. Let's go, baby. Yo, what up, boys? Get wrecked! See you later, brother! Oh, we destroyed it, people! How many people are left? There's four people left. I think it's just these two. I think this is the last team. Let's get our first winner's Bumblebee. 
Let's go! Where'd they go? Oh no, that's the last two people left. Quick! We gotta go find some more shards and we gotta take them out. We have to take them out. That's the last two people. Where's all the shards at? Oh, you can shoot. I forgot you can shoot. Go on, bro. Get him. Get him. Get him. That's it. Go on, Modicel. Yeah, boy. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go, baby. First win as the Bumblebee. Let's go. Eight kills. Woo. Okay, guys, that was hella fun, literally. That was, that's probably one of the most fun uh, uh, battle modes that they've added into the game since day one. So now what we're going to do is going to go check out editing that's in the game as well. We're going to check it out on mobile, and I'm going to show you exactly how it works. Okay, so here we go, guys. So it looks like they've made a few updates in the actual map as well. They've made it so uh, the... Uh, Ch uh, the chests are actually golden now for the uh, for the bumblebee event. They've actually changed the bears to the bumblebee, which uh, which looks pretty cool. Look at that. That looks uh, that looks awesome. So let's mine that off quickly. Um, so yeah, let's uh, let's check out editing. Ah, here we go, guys. So what you need to do is literally you can you can make. So what you need to do, guys, is to see when you've got your wall on this blue transparent bit here. Um, so what you need to do is you need to, ah, uh, okay, here. So you need to press this here. So this is for side bits, and then confirm that, and that'll make one side. So it's actually very hard to uh, to edit on here. That'll be the other side. That's basically to replace it. So. Say you've got a ramp here, the little button under the map over there, the little white button, that's how you edit something. So you press that. Uh, so the top one is to put it back to its original. The left one is to do the right-hand side, to get rid of the, the left-hand side, sorry. Uh, you go that to go back to the original, uh, just like that. And basically, the other side right there is to do the the uh the right hand side so it's quite easy to do the ramps you can just do that and then if you want to go back to normal you can just reset it back so just like that you can reset it quickly to there so we can have that out uh you can reset it to there so we can set it back so once you set it once just like that you can reset it so if you press the button press the right one press the green button it'll change it so what if you just press that one twice what if you just press it and then walk away Ah, uh, see, so you can you could just build a load of um, a load of single ones, and it only works for one ramp. So you have to do it on every every piece of separate ramp. So it's actually quite hard to do. So if we put that reset back, does it waste a bit of material when you do that? No, so we got that. And there we go. You can reset it back just like that. So as quick as that. So you can get rid of the left one. Uh, all you got to do, guys, if you want to reset it, all you got to do is just press the ramp again. All you got to do is just press it again. So if I put that out, let's put a window in there. Okay. All you got to do is press the ramp again, just like that, and it won't waste a piece of mat. So that's quite easy to kind of reset it back. Same as the ramp. So we'll do the same again. So reset it like that. If we want to reset it, we can just press it and double tap it twice. If you want to get rid of that one. If you want to get uh, set it back, you can reset it. So that's quite easy. So what about floors? What can we do on floors? Ah, so you can do a lot on floors. Look, you can you can put a corner piece in. You can put a uh, another corner piece. You can get rid of one side of it. Um, you can reset it back. You can get rid of the other corner piece. You can get rid of one side. So guys, it looks like, say if you want to edit one side just like that you can't edit say the other side if i was to click that now it'll just reset it back to normal so you can only edit it once and then if you want to edit it again uh, you've literally got to press you've got to set it back to its original which is that and then you have to set it up again so if i do that let's set it to that one there we go yeah, it sets back to normal, guys. So, yeah, it's um, it's good. Uh, say if you want to kind of drop in on people and stuff, just like that. But 
It's going to be very hard when you're in a, a sort of close fight. So if you want to do this, I mean, the, the, the good thing about this one is you can put windows in. Um, which is just like that. So you can put windows in and you can shoot through the windows at people. Uh, if you want to reset it back, you just press it twice. Just like that. Uh, what else can you do? So it looks like on the floor pieces are the only ones you can do on there. So you can do a doorway in there as well. Like I said, I told you the doors are going to be coming. So you can quickly put a doorway in there and then reset it back as you walk through. Uh, just like that. So there you go. You can reset it back. So, yeah, that's basically editing, guys. Again, I, I did say before editing even come out, it's pretty pointless editing in this game because you can build so fast. And I'll give you a quick example how how sort of quickly you can build right now. Yeah, again, guys, like I said, you don't massively need it because, I mean, with building anyway, you can kind of spam building so quickly on this game anyway. I mean, I'm just going to show some quick 90s here as well. You can do 90s just like that. You can do 90s both ways. It feels like they've um, they've updated the uh, the building slightly on it. Do a 180 just like that. Another 90. It feels like they've. Uh, I mean, it looks like these have slightly changed as well. The actual uh, the actual floor pieces. So um, it seems they've made the game a lot smoother, which is exactly what we wanted. So building is there. You go. Building is a lot easier. So uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, so yeah, guys, that's basically the update. It's uh, it's a pretty good update. Like I said, they've developed the game, they've updated the game to make it a bit better, smoother. Definitely, definitely feels a lot smoother. The new the new Bumblebee event, uh, limited time mode, is absolutely amazing. I am loving it in the moment. So enjoy, guys. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up as per usual, and again, let me know in the comments exactly what you think about this because in my opinion, I give it a solid nine out of ten. So. See you in the next video, boys. Yeah, boy. Gila.